Hello, Sharif Medawar here, and I am sharing with you my portfolio uh, that you will find on the website crepr.com. I want to talk about the properties. So 300 Tanka, for instance, uh, that property is 21,000 square feet. It has downstairs um, three commercial spaces, and upstairs it's pending a, a development for 30 rooms uh, hotel. We submitted that to tourism. They're very excited about it. And they actually uh, approved verbally 40% uh, and with actually a letter, but we're waiting for the final letter that's now de um, delayed. 40% tax credit on the purchase price. When I sell it for whoever is buying it for the purchase price, the rehab cost, first year of labor, first year of marketing. So we have rounded the numbers up, came up to 3.8 million for all the rehab upstairs and uh, including some restructuring and um, um, kind of reinforcement of the structure, uh, furniture from Bali and making it real nice, came up to 3.8 million. I put it here, $4 million and the tax credit on the entire purchase and the rehab work will be about 3 million. So net rehab cost, will cost you a million dollars. That property upstairs will make easily over $1 million and the commercial spaces will make over $246,000. These are three spaces. We already have a big tenant talking about the front uh, space area. This is an entire block. This building is amazing. Best location in all San Juan, Tanka Street where the cruise ships arrive. Everybody walks right in front of that. Again, you can see the properties on crepr.com. Go to 300 Tanka, you will see. 213 Cristo is a million 650. Uh, it's got um, um, just upstairs the penthouse um, being Airbnb right now. It's fully furnished, furnished, beautiful space. And it's got uh, the tenant downstairs was gas, but they have another location. So we canceled their location in that uh, space. We're gonna take the first floor downstairs. We're gonna actually put somebody else there. And the second floor is gonna, that used to be used as storage or office for them. We're gonna actually uh, make it an apartment. So pro forma wise, it's gonna make a lot more money. We're gonna actually, uh, you, you'll see the numbers. Uh, the breakdown is on the Word doc uh, sheet. Uh, and this is just phenomenal. It's gonna be very, very profitable building. It should make 168,000 a year. The 205 San Justo, this is a smaller property on a side street very successful it's got actually two um operations there that combined uh, it's a tenant that started in the small one and then they expanded it it is legally four commercial spaces two restaurants downstairs with bars and one studio on one side and one office on the other all together it's about 3800 square feet and um it's making 63,000. It can easily be rented separately at 72,000 a year. 253 Tanka is a very nice building. It's two floors, very small. It's 2,500 square feet. It is bringing 66,000 a year right now. Two floors, one commercial downstairs, one residential. And the 251A Christos, a corner property, really nice. Uh, 78,000 a year it brings. It's one tenant that's been there 21 years. One residential downstairs. She also has the commercial, um, uh, the commercial downstairs, and has the residential upstairs. Two hundred one Tanka is a corner street, um, priced at a million two. It's a steal of a deal. It's across the street from Burger King, bringing seventy eight thousand a year. It's gonna bring hundred and two as soon as the second floor tenant's lease expires, April first, twenty twenty. So this is gonna be good. Their government and they wanna extend. We're gonna increase our rent. 211 Cristo, it's first, second floors. Uh, it's making 96,000 now. It's gonna bring easily 102,000 pro forma. First floor is commercial, second floor is office. It's actually being used as storage. Uh, there is a third floor there we don't own. We had sold it many years ago. It's a penthouse. We sold it for many, many millions, a um, couple of years, uh, actually a few years ago, over 10 years ago. 204 San Jose, it's, uh, it's a six condos upstairs. And it's got a commercial space downstairs. The building brings 120,000. If you make it Airbnb, you're gonna make a lot more. But right now we kept it with no pro forma, keeping it the same. People are steady there. We're not charging maximum rent, but it can definitely has an, have an upside there. Property is really nice location and it's a very good condition. 250 Tanka, it's a very big property, 10,300 square feet actually. Um, 
hundred twenty one thousand one hundred is the rent. It's two commercial downstairs and two office spaces upstairs. The tenant that's got the commercial spaces is already dedicating a lot of money to to make a lot of rehab and improvement upstairs. He wants it is in perfect shape, but he wants to put a bar on the roof and he wants to do office spaces and maybe one of the four he's going to use it as um, um, hostel and he's doing very well with the small hostel. So that's that. Two o five Cristo is um, is a nice property. That's three floors, one hundred twenty six thousand year income. Over 6,000 square feet, commercial space downstairs rented to a jeweler slash um, souvenir place. Second floor is an office, and the top floor is a penthouse, fully furnished, rented right now to, uh, um, to a big uh, media company uh, for their top executives, been there forever. And they pay on time, no issues. 207 Cristo, we have Sunglass Hut downstairs, making 132,000. It's a two floor building. Second floor is an uh, uh, office in the front area and residential in the back. It is actually connected to 205. These should sell together because the second floor is connected, making it a huge office space with an apartment. A really great top space. Uh, the 207 Cristo Sunglass Hut has been there forever and uh, will probably stay there forever. They're, they really like the location. 252 Tanka, this is a great property. It's got three commercial spaces downstairs, one big uh, second floor uh, is being used for commercial as well. 141,000 a year income. Uh, these people, uh, it's actually one tenant that has the three commercial spaces downstairs. He has cannabis and it's just doing very well. It's um, not an issue at all. Uh, really in good condition. And if that tenant leaves, you can rent each individual commercial space for a lot more because we gave them a discount because they took everything. But I didn't put it as a performer because he's been there and he's going to continue being there for about four more years or so. 252 Fortaleza, great location. That property has Effie jewelers. These are awesome jewelers. It's got also in the bag, there's a huge storage area that's rented to somebody else. The whole space with the front and the back area that are two separate spaces legally. One commercial and the back area is storage. Uh, it's over 3,300 square feet. 255 Tank has a great property. It's got two commercial spaces downstairs. Upstairs, it's got a nice 3,200 square feet uh, apartment. The top location is used as Airbnb and it's a money machine. And the reason we have a pro forma for more is one of the tenants lease is expiring soon and we can get a lot more rental on that one. 259 Fortaleza, that's, an, that's a very nice building. It's got two commercial spaces downstairs, one large commercial space is on the second floor, which is being used as uh, office right now. The actual uh, tenant there, uh, is gonna actually, he got approval for the entrance to make uh, pizzas and uh, pastries, etc. And upstairs, he's gonna make a salsa dancing, etc., which does not exist in the area. It's gonna be very successful. He already actually prepaid the rent. 206 uh, for, for many uh, years ahead of time. 206 San Justo, um, it's a nice big building corner with Fortaleza. It's got several floors. This one, it's, it's got four floors. Downstairs already rented to Diamond International, one of the biggest diamond dealers in the Caribbean. They, they sell 400 million a year in, in jewelry and diamonds. And this, the second, third, fourth, and the penthouse, which is an open roof space, all ready to be developed as a 30, another 30 room hotel development. The tourism also did the preliminary approval with a letter, just like 300 Tanka up here. And we have the estimate rounded up all the numbers about two and a half million to make it a real nice 30 room hotel with furnished with Bally's uh, furniture, etc. And um, we have a full 40% um, rehab um, cr tax credit on the actual purchase, the rehab, the first year labor, first year um, uh, marketing. Uh, 251B San Justo, uh, that's um, uh, San Justo. Okay, yes, that's a nice property there. And it is, um, two, actually it's 251B Cristo, correction here, sorry. 251B Cristo. And uh, that is a great building. It's all rented. It's got two commercial spaces downstairs. The restaurant downstairs has been there for over 23 years. Nice second floor, beautiful apartment rented at top dollars. And the third floor penthouse is actually being rehabbed as we speak to make it a very nice 
Airbnb because of the demand we have. 259 Tanka, very nice building. It's got two commercial spaces downstairs, second floor, two apartments, two bedroom, two bath each. Third floor, a nice big penthouse. That property has an elevator, it's a cash cow, 182,000 a year income. 106 Fortaleza is a corner property. It's got beautiful glass doors from the bottom up for the commercial spaces. A guest is renting there. We want to actually cancel their lease. The pro forma can make the property produce a lot more income. There are five apartments uh, upstairs, four on the second floor, and one on the fifth floor penthouse, uh, on the third floor penthouse with a little uh, terrace area. Um, all these can be Airbnb, produce a lot of money. And actually, the downstairs, we have the drawings to separate it into three spaces. It can make a lot more money than it's making right now. And uh, we will be able to kick out uh, guests or the next buyer will kick out gas uh, company and will put three different tenants. There is actually a jeweler that wants to, come, wants to come into the corner. And the jeweler for the corner commercial space, which will leave you two other commercial spaces, that jeweler will pay more than what guest is paying for the entire space. 206 Cristo, very nice building. It's got three floors. Downstairs, we have Tommy Hilfiger, and we have on the side there, we have a small uh, commercial space. The second floor has got, um, um, uh, the second floor has got the, uh, a very nice apartment that's gonna be turned into Airbnb. Third floor penthouse with a beautiful view and terrace will also be um, turned into um, commercial space. Uh, for Airbnb as well. These are top, top of the line locations and, um, and uh, will be easily converted to bring the income a lot higher. 200 Cristo is a corner property across from uh, Coach and that property has a big commercial space in the front for Cream, commercial uh, cream and cosmetics company. It's got several small commercial spaces on the side. It's got a huge second floor uh, apartment that's actually the nicest apartment in all San Juan and it's it's uh, turned into Airbnb we've turned it into Airbnb it's very very profitable it's got several balconies very beautiful property uh, 251 Fortaleza that one has five apartments um, uh, four apartments on the second floor the top um, uh, floor has a beautiful terrace and a big four bedroom two bath apartment all upstairs is airbnb it's a cash cow downstairs there are two commercial spaces it was rented by adidas and uh, right now these two commercial spaces will be bringing a lot of money and it will when the two commercial spaces are rented um, it's the only commercial spaces available right now. It's going to go from 218,000 income per year to 312,000 income per year. 315 for Talesa. It's a small hotel, 14 to 15 rooms. It depends if you separate one of the rooms and rent it separately. And uh, it's got an entrance in the front, rented separately to a commercial space. That property is an absolute cash cow, making conservatively close to 500,000 a year, 492. It is in very good condition. It's a cash cow, and we're very happy with it. It does not cost a lot to operate it. That's what opened my eyes to hotel operations and Airbnb, and that's why we have the two other buildings, 300 tank and 206 to convert into hotels. We also have 65 Fortaleza, which is a corner building between Fortaleza Street and uh, Cristo Street, awesome location, a few blocks, I mean, literally a block and a half from the governor's house. And downstairs, we have a big commercial tenant that has a long-term lease. They spent over $200,000 just rehabbing their place the way they want it. And we have 12 apartments upstairs. Everything is converted to Airbnb. Uh, the property makes over half a million dollars a year between the commercial and the Airbnb operation. And uh, there you have it. Portfolio brings over 4272000 in actual rent, it's constantly improving, constant, constantly going up. Once we make some um, uh, changes with a couple tenants and get the two hotels uh, up and running, the income will go uh, uh, up by two and a half million a year, and that will make it 6.9 million. We, the portfolio itself um, is worth 54 million 460. That's the asking price. And uh, once you get it, and you spend another million to million and a half in net to convert the hotels. Because remember, you're going to spend more, but you're going to get tax credit that you can sell to the banks. So this is very, very powerful. That's literally cash back in your pocket that is huge. And there are tax incentives for hotels. This is a historic zone. You pay very little taxes on the income. 
you, you have a huge reduction, 75% reduction on property taxes. Uh, the property is very well maintained. The property is very well maintained. Once you get it to the actual performer you want, your cap rate will be over 11 and a quarter percent. So this is the portfolio. And if you have any questions, email me at sharifmedawar at yahoo.com or go to crepr.com. You see it right here on the, um, on the screen. And uh, what can happen is um, uh, you will see my email and you can email me directly and we can talk. Thank you so much and hope to do business with you soon.